One of the tourist spots here in Cana Buta is Little Hollywood. We just saw a tour bus stopped here because it's a souvenir shop and a museum as well. No, no, no. Here, you have to straw, baby. I don't want straw. In this souvenir shop, you will see a lot of Western style. From cowboy hats to boots and more Western outfit. Oh. <laughs> so if you like Western stops like cowboy hats and boots, this is the place for you to stop by. Also, it's not that expensive. The reason why they sell a lot of stuffs like this here is because at the back side, it is an abandoned movie set. So just stay tuned and we will go there later. And that's why they call it The Little Hollywood because Hollywood stars go here to shoot their movies. Also, aside from Western stuffs and cowboy outfits here, you will also see a lot of Native Americans' jewelries here and handcrafts. That's the one I told you. Did you want one? I like it, you know, but I don't know. But if you want to get it. Let's see what we're we'll use. No, it says the back, the type of stone, baby. Oh. Oh. So can you read it? What is this? <laughs> I love the writings of Native Americans, so we bought one of those. We even asked the cashier about the information of that drawing. And she confirmed that it's really a Native American who made it and they deliver it there. The backside of the museum, there's a door that it will indicate and tell you the history of this little Hollywood and how it started. And also you will see a donation box there, but they suggest $5 per person. Also, it helps to maintain and help the museum to go on. There's no watcher either, so they will not know if you're going to pay or not. So just be honest, guys. So here's the place, guys. Actually, all those western houses there and rooms are open so if you want to go in and check it out inside take a photos videos or do whatever you want to do feel free to do so because again there's no watcher and then they just let all the visitors come in and do whatever they want You know the guys I was talking about, uh, Frank Sinatra? Excuse me. <laughs> Frank Sinatra and Dean Martin. I that? thought there was a person there. No, have you ever? What is it? Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin. Yeah. Oh, shit. That one got me. <laughs> you got scared, too? <laughs> Sit beside you, baby. Kane made its screen debut in 1924 when Tom Mix filmed Deadwood Coach along with his co-star Tony the Wonder Horse. Since then, over a hundred Hollywood productions have taken advantage of these diverse and spectacular landscapes that make southern Utah one of the most stunning places on earth. Caneb is the commercial center of a large farming, ranching, and recreational community. Film and television production always brings money into local economy. In a community as small as Kane County, filming became one of the major industries. A major film mm. often was the major That's employer okay. in the economy. Also during the darkest days of the Great Depression, it was Hollywood film production that kept this little town alive. So it is called Little Hollywood because of its filmmaking history over the years. Also, some of the props here isn't in the same movie. Some came from, from a different movie set that was filmed here in Cana Buta to showcase and preserve it because after movies, usually they demolish it. This is where my wife would have been back in the 1700s. What did you say? Every day. What this did is, you say? This is where my wife would have been back in the 1700s every day. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, my husband likes to pick on me. <laughs> I love my baby. I wonder if they have my size though.
weird clothes. The popular and classic Western movies that was filmed here was The Lone Ranger, El Dorado, and Billy the Kid. And for the iconic celebrities who've been here are John Wayne, Frank Sinatra, Dale Evans, Jack Nicholson, Clint Eastwood, Ronald Reagan. And of course, for the latest movies that was filmed here, so for us, new generations can relate. So it was 2000, Mission Impossible 2, 2001, Evolution Planet of the Apes, 2012, John Carter, 2013, The Lone Ranger Gravity, and 2014, Transformers Age of Extinction. So that's it guys, that's our short tour here in the Museum of Little Hollywood. And we're gonna head now to the next tour spot here in Kainab, so just go and visit my other videos in my channel. Or just click the description of this video to see the direct link. So again guys, come by here, take a lot of pictures, do some TikTok, okay. which I did, and just have fun. Thank you again for watching guys, have a great day, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Thank you again, God bless.